Hi everyone, let's try to solve another problem on isometrical projections. It's the 15th problem. So we have the question like this. A hemisphere of diameter 50 mm is centrally placed on top of a square prism of base side 60 mm and height 30 mm such that the curved surface of the hemisphere is touching the top face of the prism. Draw the isometric projections. Here they have given the front and the top. Sometimes this might not be given. So we have to draw without this front and the top view. So here in this question, you can see we have a hemisphere having a diameter of 50 mm and a square prism of sides 60 mm and having a height or the thickness as 60 mm. Let's try to solve this particular problem using the software. So let's take the line command. So after that, fit it. Let's take the line command and first we'll draw the square prism of 60 mm. So for drawing that, we'll give the side as 60 and the angle as 30. Then we'll give the length as 60, angle as 150, again 60, angle as minus 150. Then again, the angle as 60 and angle as minus 30. So here I forgot to take the line as visible. So you can change this line the normal line to visible by selecting it all and changing the line to visible or else individually you can click and you can change it which is quite a bit difficult so let's do it in the easiest way now from here i'll measure 30 mm downwards and then another length of 60 mm i'll make the alignment indicator and then i'll specify the dimension it will take minus 30 automatically then again i will hit enter and i will connect out here then from here the length is 60, angle is 30, and then I will connect here. Now I will change the line to normal and I'll measure the center of this particular face, the prism space. That is here you can see the alignment indicator which actually shows the center. I'll click over there and I'll leave it. Now here in the question we have to draw another hemisphere so which has a base diameter of 50 mm. So let's try to draw that hemisphere separately. So the base diameter is 50 mm. So we have to draw isometrical square of 50 mm. So we can give the length as 50, angle as 30, again 50, angle as 150, angle as length as 50, angle as minus 150, angle as length as 50, and angle as minus 30. Once we have this, we'll divide this particular square. We'll connect the ends. If you want, we can zoom this particular area so that we can have the clear beef then from the corner to the opposite side center similarly on to this side and from here to this side and from here to this side now let's take the arc by three points and change the line to visible from this point to the end of this line and tangentially to the line you can see the tangent symbol then click out there Similarly, we'll draw it here from this point to this point tangent to this line and from this particular point to the end of this particular arc not the line to the arc Similarly from here to the end of this particular arc and tangent to the line now from the center of this particular arc to the center of this particular arc and tangent to any one of the line so this completes the hemisphere now we'll fit it and we'll place on top of the square so that we'll select it and we'll use the move command and we'll click at the tip of this particular square and we'll place it here and if you want we can trim the excess lines or the unnecessary lines that are there you can use the zoom and you can trim it these lines are not necessary necessary even the construction lines also you can delete if it is not necessary i'm just trying to delete the, only the visible lines which are not required so that we can have a clear view of the figure i have kept the construction lines if you want you can delete the construction line also now once we have completed the thing that we have to do is we have to scale it down before that we'll show the reference lines we'll change the line to normal and we'll give the angle this angle is 30 
and here also we'll specify the angle as 30. So once we have done, we'll select it all and then we'll scale it down. We'll scale it down to 0 0.8164 and hit enter and place it wherever you need. And here this completes the particular problem.